Hey guys, I got this question from a debater org newsletter reader. Um, what computer should I buy to learn Python programming? So I understand why this question exists and um, it is very easy to get a terrible answer for this question. Namely, if you need to buy XYZ computer, you know, if you buy a MacBook, you're gonna be a great, great programmer. And, and fundamentally, I think that is the wrong advice. So I wanna give my thoughts on this question here. What computer should you buy if you wanna learn Python or any other programming language for that matter? So today, in most cases, um, the development environment that you're gonna be using, certainly for Python, will be available on any of the major operating systems. So it will be uh, available on Windows, Mac, and Linux. And that means you have a, f a fairly wide choice in terms of which computer you should get. You know, it's, it's never like um, with iPhone development, for example, where you absolutely need to get a, um, a Mac computer to be able to create your apps and then ship them. So with Python, it is, uh, you, have, you just have a lot more choice, right? There's a lot more flexibility. And what I would recommend to you, if, uh, if it comes down to making that choice, I would probably go with a Linux machine just because the development uh, tools and the command line tools on, on Unix-based machines like uh, or Unix-based operating systems like uh, Linux and Mac, in my experience, have just been a lot better and a lot more solid. Now, Windows is a great operating system too, and recently, you know, they, they made some changes where it's possible to make um, to make it very easy to use Linux or Unix development tools under Windows as well. But in general, I would lean towards um, Linux if you're looking for a cheaper option, or actually Mac OS. Like that's the operating system that I use. But you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna come at this question also from the perspective of someone who's not sure how much money they want to invest into a computer to program on. So, all, you know, with, with that intro, what I wanna say here is that really, if you already have a computer that is not a, let's say, you know, a tablet that's locked down in terms of the software you can install, you probably don't need to go out and buy anything. Um, you can just use whatever computer you have. Like you can even program Python on um, on your iPhone or a tablet computer, or if it's an iPad, using the Pythonista app. And this is not, in my mind, the best way to learn the language, but it's certainly an option. So, you know, before you go out and buy anything, like definitely consider what you have available and what you can use. In general, any computer, that you can buy today will be powerful enough to do development work. If it's if it's a proper computer, if it's a proper unlocked machine. Um, so, well, what I would do here, I would go out and see if you can just you know get a good deal on a basic office machine, and uh, then I would make sure to get a keyboard that you enjoy working with, a mouse that you enjoy working with, and a monitor with uh, as high as a resolution that you can afford, because that's really gonna make a difference to your programming ability. If you wanna go the laptop route, then you can pretty much use any computer for programming Python, at least to get started. If you're the more you get towards the, you know, the more professional development, at that point, it really come, becomes a question of like, well, if this makes you, you know, if a faster computer makes you 10, 10% more effective, because you don't have to wait for stuff to load, or if it makes it 20% 20, 20 more effective, if you're a freelancer, that potentially makes it a very good investment to spend some more money on that, because then, well, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna pocket that 20% um, improvement there if you can make 20% more revenue. But, you know, it's kind of hard to, to really come down to or to really figure out what the what the connection is there between making money and uh, the speed of your computer as a developer. So at the end of the day, you have a lot of choice when it comes to picking a machine for learning Python. And I would encourage you to if you're just trying this out to not go out there and just buy something you know try and use whatever you have right now a basic office computer will suffice to to get into this 
and um, we'll make sure it has an SSD drive. It has um, at least eight gigabytes of memory and then you'll be golden, right? Like if it's, um, that's definitely something that you can use throughout your university edu education if you're not, um, if you're not banking on, uh, or if you're not um, planning to do any sort of, um, you know, super state of the art uh, 3D programming. And, and even then there's options around it, you know, and you're just you're gonna build like a little gaming PC to do that on or whatever. Uh, if you already have a gaming PC, you know, if that's, if that's where you're coming from, you can totally use that machine for programming as well. It's very likely that this machine will be powerful enough for you to do this. Um, that said, there is definitely, you know, I fundamentally believe that if you're using a tool as much as your computer, um, if you're a developer, it makes sense to get the machine that really works for you and to try out a bunch of things. So for me, that uh, over the last couple of years has always been sort of getting an Apple computer just because I've been very happy with their build quality and, um, you know, it's for me was worth the investment, but I'm totally don't want to push you that direction. You know, you got to make your own choice and see what you're most comfortable with and, and also what operating system you're most com comfortable with working. But just for starting out, if you want to learn programming, don't worry about investing um, or don't go out and invest a bunch of money, right? I mean, if you have the money lying around, it you know can't hurt to get a fancy computer, but um, you don't have to do this, and this shouldn't stop you from going out and learning how to program.